Good day, everybody, and welcome back to the Reapers. Today, I would like to demonstrate the employment of electro optically guided or EO weapons from Heat Blur's F4E platform. The F4E can carry two types of guided bombs. First off is a walleye, which you might be familiar with from other uh, DCS aircraft. It comes in two variants, one with a thousand pound warhead and the other one with a 2,000 pound warhead and extended range. The F4 can also carry the GBU-8. It's important to note that both of these weapons have no data link with the aircraft and they are true fire and forget. Once you release them, they are self-guiding to the target. The walleye can be carried on stations 1, 2, 8, and 9. It's important to note that the walleye 2 can only be carried on stations 8 and 2. Like the walleye, GBU-8s can be carried at stations 1, 2, 8, and 9. The GBU-8 is basically a Mark 84 that's been modified with tail fins and an electro-optical guidance package on the nose. The electro-optical guidance package in the GBU-8 and the walleye uses visual contrast in order to lock the target. The keybinds I've chosen to help me identify and lock the target through the DSGG screen are a toggle switch to turn the DSCG to TV as well as controls for the brightness and color. The other two binds that you will need are the trigger, which you probably already have bound to your joystick. This is to lock the target on the display and the bomb button, which you'll be using to release. First of all, we need to select the relevant stations. In this case, we have four electro-optical guided weapons. We can either select just a single station or we can select, in this case, all four stations. The DSCG will link to just a single weapon at a time. Setting up for a GBU employment is pretty straightforward if you follow the manual. As you can see, it's identical for both the GBU-8 and the Walleye, and contains all the steps you'll need except for one, which is to turn the master arm switch on. Weapon select knob is on TV. Leave it there, otherwise you're going to have to uh, conduct the three minute warm up every time you come out of the TV position. Gun sight should be air to ground, mills 20 in the checklist, is pretty close close enough it talks about 17 other places but this should work and what you're trying to do is just sync up your gun sight with the center of your display so it allows you to acquire and lock the target quicker delivery mode will be direct dscg switch goes to tv and we'll have the weapon video and, and like i said before i've bound these knobs to my hotel so i can get a better picture of the target area as we're running in without having to fiddle with the knobs using my mouse when we get in position to launch we will put the pipper on the target that should line up the center of our dcsg with our desired target once you find the desired target with good contrast Pull the trigger, it should lock the target, hold the trigger until you release the bomb. At that time you can press the bomb, hold the bomb until you release. And you will note bomb release by the screen going momentarily blank if you have all your stations located and a clunking noise. Approaching the target area, a very important consideration is that the bomb will have an opportunity if you're not careful of flying up into the aircraft after release therefore it is important for you once the target is acquired and locked to either level the aircraft or even come in back into a slight climb coming into the target area we'll come off active pause i see the target area that's the x with the vehicles on board line up the gun sight reticle 
so that my display is over a desired target. Once I find my target, press and hold the trigger, level the aircraft, release the bomb, turn away from the target area. And we can follow the bomb in. Like I said, a fire and forget weapon. Easy peasy. I hope that helps and have a good day.